this is Brandon Moon with Moonlit Fly Fishing. I want to welcome you to Fly Tying Night tonight. Tonight we're going to be tying up a variation of Renee Harrop CDC Thorax Dunn. We're going to tie it for a mahogany dunn. With that I want to make sure and invite you if you find any kind of value in this video or the content we're putting out. Please do us a favor, make sure you hit the like button. Leave us a comment, hit subscribe and the bell to receive future notification. And then share the video with others as well. This helps us get seen by the algorithm and helps us spread the word on the content we're creating. With that, we're going to put the hook in the vise. We're using the Moonlit Tagata pre Premium Barbless Tying Hooks, the ML102. I'm tying this in a size 14 today, but you can tie this anywhere from a size 12 to a size 18 on the mahogany done or any size to match the mayflies in your area and color as well. But for the thread on this mahogany done, we're using the Semperfly Classic Wax 12 aught in claret. We're going to take and get that started. Wrap there to the back bend of the hook. And then I'm going to take some medium done CDL. And I'm just going to take a small couple fibers in here. I don't want too many. Make sure that the tips line up and pull them off. And I don't want to get too many in there because the tail is not like a huge, there's not a whole lot of them. I'm going to measure that to be about the length of the hook shank. I'm going to lay that kind of at an angle on the side there. Wrap a little light and then tighter as I pull down. You can see my tail's standing straight out there. We'll wrap and secure that going forward. And then I'll just trim that CDL right there at my tie-in or my starting point, which is about two-thirds, three-quarters of the way up the hook shank. And that's my thorax area right there. So we'll just wrap going rearwards again. I'm going to stop just shy. I'm going to put two wraps of thread back underneath just to help support that tail just a little bit. For the body on this, we're going to use a medium Semperfly Perfect Quill in a size medium. And I'm also using the clear. And I'll just wrap that sticky side facing away from me and I also want the black ridge strip on that facing the back side of the hook. And we'll just secure that down with nice touching wraps going forward. Once I get up here I'm just going to take and trim that piece out, tip end right at that top starting point. We're going to take and create a little bit of a taper. These mayflies have slender bodies so we don't want to build up too much bulk but I like a little bit of a taper to my bodies. And I'll do that about three times. And then I'll half hitch this and I always make sure I have a nice even point to finish off my quill here. So I'm going to take this quill and I'm going to do the first wrap by hand and then I'm going to take my rotary feature and I'm just going to create touching wraps moving forward and creating a nice 
segmented body to this fly. We'll wrap all the way up in there to the thorax area and secure that down. I always pull that back just a little bit so it's nice and clean. Now I'm going to take trim that out. Alright, so instead of using CDC on this fly like Renee Harrop does, I've got some medium done Semperfly poly yarn. I've taken and cut a strip off. I've actually separated it in half. And I'm just going to kind of take this and I'm going to trim the ends off just so they're a little more even, like so. I'm going to measure this basically the gauge of the hook gape there. And then just about midway of that thorax area, I'm going to lay my hackle or my poly yarn down. I kind of want to stand that up a little bit so that I can create some wraps. I'm trying to capture the least amount of fibers as possible just to keep it as clean as possible. Now I'm going to kind of hold that other side up. I'm going to wrap just kind of like I would a parachute post a little bit. I've got one funny fiber there in the front pretty good on the back. I'm going to take and trim off this funny one poking forward just a little bit. Now I can take and trim that out. And that's going to give me my wing. There's one right there. I'm going to take a medium done rooster saddle feather. This one's from Whiting. I'm going to take and secure that down. If you notice on one side of this feather I've actually stripped about a wrap or a quarter of a wrap so that when I start this feather I get a nice clean start. We've got that there. Now I'm going to take some Margenta Semperfly Kapok Dubbing. And I don't want very much. And I'm just going to create a little dubbing noodle here. I'll go over the top and then I'm going to go behind it to kind of help stand up that feather just a little bit. We'll wrap and create our thorax. And then we'll just take and leave that there. Now I'm going to take my hackle and wrap through that thorax. And I'm going to get about three wraps back behind this wing. Pull that wing back and I'll get about two wraps in front. Secure that down. Now I want to pull all those hackle fibers rearward. Just so that I can keep that as clean as possible. I'm 
Before I try and whip finish, I'm going to try and clean up just a few of these forward facing hackle fibers just to make it easier. Now I'm going to take my whip finish tool and I'm just going to give it a nice whip finish. One, two, three. I'll snip that out. My favorite way you can is to take a razor blade and this just gives me a nice super clean cut on that hackle fiber. Got just a few fibers I want to clean up on that head there. Now I've got that. <clears throat> I'm going to take a little bit of head cement and for me I actually like to put it on my little bodkin a lot of times on these types of flies. just so that I have a little bit more control and I'm not putting too much on there. Now that we've done that, that's going to help secure this down, make it nice and durable. I'll flip this upside down. This is a great pattern because it helps the fly ride lower in the water column. Like a natural insect. A few fibers there just need to be trimmed out. And there you have a Renee Harrop CDC Thorax Quill Body Mayfly. This is a mahogany done version. This is tied with a poly yarn. More durable than CDC, also cheaper and great variety of colors. A lot easier to get access to. So again with that I want to say thank you for watching the video and spending time with us this evening. If you find any value at all, make sure you hit the like button, leave us a comment, hit subscribe and the bell to receive future notification, as well as sharing the video. This helps us with the algorithms and helps get our content out there, and we appreciate your support a great deal. You have a wonderful evening.